I hear you ran the Los Angeles Marathon last year. Why don't you tell me about it? Well, it was the first marathon I ever ran, and it was a bitch. I joined the LA Leggers Running Club and we started training in August. We ran together each Saturday and steadily increased the mileage each week until we were up to 26 miles. When we ran past Venice Beach, the pot smokers, I mean the Road Runners Club, would meet there, and we could smell them from far away. Why was that? It was because those oxygen thieves were hitting the bong before their runs. That doesn't sound too smart. Tell me more about the race. Well, on race day, we showed up at Santa Monica to catch the shuttle buses to the starting line at Dodger Stadium. Traffic was a nightmare and we were afraid we would not make it there on time. Some people even exited the bus and walked and jogged to the stadium. My bus finally made it in the nick of time. That is a good thing. Well, after waiting in a long damn line at the bathroom and almost pissing my pants, I headed to the starting line. Too many frickin' people there to find my pace group, so I ended up running alone. That doesn't sound like fun. It was actually alright, but I missed my buddies. Anyway, Kodak moment Mayor Viragosa said a few words and the horn finally sounded, and we were off. I made it up to the starting line in seven minutes then it was a challenge to avoid being tripped by the idiots in the mob. As we approached downtown, we started up the big hill near the Disney Concert Hall. The street name at the top of the hill was Hill Street. No frickin' shit. I bet that was difficult. We ran through Hollywood and into Beverly Hills. At about mile 16 my quads started to cramp. At mile 17 my calves felt like they were going to explode. At mile 18 I was hating life. My knee started with that stabbing pain again that forced me to take most of January off from training. So what happened next? Okay, so next at mile 20 we made the turn into the VA hospital complex. There was another big ass frickin' hill to climb there too. Finally we started down San Vicente on our way to the beach. By that time my run, walk, had turned into more of a walk, run, and I was falling way off my pace. That doesn't sound good. No kidding, you idiot. As I rounded the corner onto Ocean Boulevard with only a mile or so to go, I checked my watch and knew I could break five hours if I really tried hard. Well I beat that by two minutes and was ready to die. I hated it. So you aren't going to run any more marathons? Are you kidding me? You must not be a runner. I'm already training for my next one.